This shit nuclear, but I ain't got no weapon. My bar spit like a fucking Smith and Wesson. Why you talking on me, little bitch? I'm bench pressing. Talking on my name, you don't know I'm lethal weapon. Count hey. money, getting rich, no. Oh man, he fucked it up because you ain't go. He fucked me up, bruh. I ain't talking no NASCAR. I just want to run it back to the days where my past are right in the present because aligned is what we have to be. I say, um, I got a blood test, but the doctor diagnosed me with lethal swag. The results came back and they said I overdosed on swag. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate y'all sliding. Uh, it looks like we have a really good group here. There's a lot of familiar faces and a lot of new faces. One of the best things that comes out of these is the connections for after the retreats. Let's go meet the squad. Let's go see what they're doing. Yo. What's up, guys? So I'll give you some stories. Like in uh, 20, 2016, Playboy Cardi was wearing my clothes. Yeah, I mean, like that's. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone has the privilege to grow up in an environment where they're um, forced to think openly. Think about that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm also friends with a extremely successful <coughs> EDM artist and like a booking agent. And they like have told me some shit, you know, I mean, I'm not even going to get into it, but it's like, yeah. Even just from like the, the frequencies of the music. Yeah. Like the... Yeah. Yeah. In the club, tweaking out, stick his foot behind the girl, I see the pills picking fucked up in my head. I like yes! I do myself, I do better, she want little sweaters. Oh, that switch was crazy! So I actually saw this, my homie sent this shit to me on fucking TikTok. I was like, oh, this looks lit. And then, um, I was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna fucking send it. Guys, I picked up a course that I brought from my house. I opened it, I drank it, it was vinegar. Yep. I, I probably almost yacked. So my music, I started out doing like, the trap stuff. I have a lot of like rock influence. Travis Scott's probably still my all time favorite. I kind of grew up privileged, you know, I never really wanted for anything. My parents are together. I never felt I had that really tragic loss a lot of people have. I live alone and I walk around my house and like I cannot stop singing. I just break out into fucking songs. No, no, no. This flow is all I can do just to understand. I feel like. Machine Gun Kelly and Trippy Red should have been in the 27 Club, but they survived it. And I wonder how, but they they didn't die. M MGK almost died, didn't he? Yeah. Did so he? did Trippy. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Even being around everybody in this uh, retreat, like even being around a lot of people like me that make music, even being around them, I still feel alone, no matter where I am. I made a promise to myself that I'm going to sacrifice everything I have for this that even if I don't become a successful artist, then I'll die with the music I've made. All the ops want me, I'm dead, I die, I'm dead inside. All right, let's do that one. I'm dead inside! Some people don't even realize that they're toxic to themselves and they need to break that cycle. So I gotta stay present. Facts. One of the hardest things to do, but once you learn to stay present and be here, you actually start to enjoy life. Ground yourself. Damn straight. Take your socks off and walk in the grass barefoot. My name is Nick Scarlett. I drove three hours just to come here to this beautiful retreat out here in uh, Orlando. Uh, how you doing, bro? I'm good, I'm good, man. How you doing? Yo, uh, you were at the last one, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I guess what I brought. Uh, tattoo guy. Tattoo <laughs> guy. <laughs> My boy Nick Scarlett, uh, he did an amazing job on this right here, uh, and also just a super talented artist as well, so that was awesome. Let's be honest, baby, I got talking. So my name is Red. Um, I came from Knoxville. I flew in. I did uh, 13 months in prison. 
Just oh, catch wait, the vibe. Yeah. Like yeah. a donut, girl, I'll be your prince, come hop up on this. We put a little, little magic, a little spice into this one. A little bit of marinade, a little bit of dry rub, and oh, you know, the the chef's been chefing. The dish is gonna be delicious. Yeah, everyone is very genuine and like, they just, they don't even care if there's a camera, like they just start doing their thing, you know? Do you mind talking about prison shit? No, man, we can talk about it, yeah. I'll talk about prison shit. So, can we ask the charges? Uh, yeah. Um, in South Carolina, I got caught for this like, little crime spree I went on. And um, me and this girl that I had just so fucking like met. Bonnie and Clyde? Like, she was bad as fuck, right? So fucking, I got her to, like, there's an old man that was creeping on her. I was, I was like, look, go tell this old man, or you'll give him some pussy, and like, let us borrow the Ooh. car for a couple hours. And like, we just took off. So like, we ended up stealing a car. We're going down here to South Carolina. I ended up getting caught in fucking Dorchester, South Carolina. And then like, like everything kicked in, like reality hit like really quick and I was like, whoa, like I'm actually fucking here. Like, and like my roommate, when I walked in, he was just like, like his name was Demon. And he was just like, what's up bro, you bang? And I was like, what are you talking about bro? And he's like, gang bang. And I was like, negative. And, and so then he was like, do you want to join a gang? And I was like, no. I jumped off the top bunk and hit him with the damn Superman and fucking fucked him up. And um, it's like, then we was cool. I think we're doing a good job so far. Um, it's hard to get noise complaints at these places because they're really, they're solid, they're solid. I'm a genre bending artist and I'm eclectic. This is my third retreat. It's just the friendships, the brotherhood, the network, and just making fire music and content, man. Like, we live for this, we die for this. We're artists to the day we die. Do you think Ice Spice is a real human being or a fake AI generated like What the fuck? Oh, he talking about some AI generated this bitch. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I mean, I think I was probably like 12 the first time uh, I did like Percocet. And I mean, I'm like, I'm in a good place now and shit, but. Yeah. Gnosis, it's like quiet dude with long hair. He's like kind of from a different planet. He's got a unique swag, but he makes loud, crazy music. Kind of gangster. Woke up the hotel and put that on my bill. Give a fuck about the fee. I got ash on my jeans. Who the fuck ash to my lean? Mix the coke with the wig. Got the dope on the lean on deck. Walk around like the walking dead with a trunk full of contraband. And if the box is red, I'll take the top instead. I'm in the back seat with the same hoe I fucked last week. I popped the pussy like acne. Red hat hoe look like Daphne. Uh huh. Like school is too, if you're really being honest. Like, I need a piece of paper to tell me that I can actually live a life. Why do I need that? Like, fuck school. They schedule you to each class, they make you go to lunch at a certain time. Everybody in there selling drugs and fighting, they don't give a fuck about you. You're bullied. Like, what the fuck is up with school? That's like school. It's just a waste of time. And like, I feel like. Lost Boy is my favorite, and he's, he's like the realest one. He tells me that God told him that he needs to do this music and he's doing it. Cemetery vibe. This right here, this song is so good. Once a day I rise. You got the black jacket too? Hey, we're just gonna go to the cemetery. What? We're just gonna go to the cemetery. Yeah, I fuck with them because they literally set up to, to to film with me today. They're interested in me, which is cool. And I know that if I don't stop, I am going to make it. It's, it's already in the books. I'm destined to be a prophet, literally, for the entire industry. I hope you're ready because it might it's, it, it might uh, get a lot of views.
I love you, take you straight to the moon Mix all the pills with a whole lot of shrooms Get these thoughts on my head The demons became my friends I was sent to hell at the age of 10 And then I went out swinging I wanna go out singing Fucking die, yeah, fucking die when I'm drinking Uh, I was lost in the dark to the point where I died and, and it hurt other people so bad that they died that I actually came back to, from hell and came back alive and came back to save him. Love you, take you straight to the moon. Mix all the pills with a whole lot of shrooms. Get these thoughts on my head. The demons became my friends. I was sent to hell at the age of 10. Dude, that edit's gonna be, that edit's gonna be fire, bro. I would usually have just filmed this on my friend's grave. That's why I was uh, planning to do a music video. I have two friends' graves back in my hometown in Pensacola. <laughs> Guys, it's yo, it's D's. <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> nigga, big C's, nigga. Not for the bitch. Y'all already know. Big for the bitch. 26 days in hell. Bro, I'm not gonna take a call mic'd up with my fucking ex girlfriend on camera. What do you think I am? Why is but, she um, calling you, you think? Cause she wants to work things out. She collected a bunch of sand and she's trying to get me to send the sand in the mail so she can like use it for an art project but I don't know like she just she said she was just calling to get the sand it's not that interesting but yeah yeah but she's using the sand as an excuse to try to fix things but that's not gonna get fixed. Why did things go wrong? You already know the story I'm not gonna say the story. What I don't know the story. You know the story. I didn't tell him. Bro, it got, it got brutal. I'm hungry for success, bro. Oh, I won't stop till I'm at the top. That. I will not stop. Yo, you lock the car? You lock the car? Yeah. Manifestation, bro. I'm telling you, manifestation is real. Like, manifestation is so real. It's all about energy and being able to manifest. I woke up one day and I just started speaking it into existence and doors started opening faster than I could even believe. It's fucking crazy, bro. What were you telling yourself? I was just like, I was just, every time I wake up, I was like, bro, I can't live like this. I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to die. So either if, if I'm going to die, then I better die doing something to put a mark in this world or I'm just going to be a fucking loser. And I just got work, bro. Real shit. I got to work. I agree with that. When people be saying, like, they want to kill themselves all the time, even over stupid shit, like, you know, like, they trip. Like, oh, I'm so dumb. I want to kill. Like, you're manifesting that into your life. You're going to be depressed if you keep That's how I was that for years. I was like that for years. Yeah. I was so toxic, bro. The guy that tattooed it, uh, this on my face. He used to be friends with X before X got famous. And I was just in Miami and he was like, let me tattoo your face. And I was like, okay. But he was drunk and he fucked it up. This means that I had a deep love for something or somebody. And I can either choose to tell about it when someone asks me or not. Both of my guy best friends passed away and I saw a rotten corpse and I lost the love of my life in the span of 10 months. It was not fun, it was pretty gruesome. For a while I didn't sleep, I pushed everybody away. Everybody left me, I ended up being homeless. And I'd say that probably the most haunting thing from that experience was hearing his mother scream and cry and grieve in the backyard. I'll never forget the sound of that because it was very, blood curdling it just felt wrong like nobody should have to feel that amount of pain at once <laughs> look into my eyes see a demon from my past baby I just miss your love and your life finding my purpose I gotta make it worse stop taking drugs and stop taking perks he literally reminds me of some of the kids I, I work with and it's like, so I work in a psych ward. The majority of the kids are suicidal and it sucks having to restrain kids. Every once in a while when they hurt themselves you have to put them in restraints, which really fucking sucks. And they're doing this for like art, like they just want to be seen and heard. 
and it's just like like that's that's why I do what I do because like you can get them to a place where they don't necessarily need to do it maybe not as a nurse but like as a team as a nurse therapist doctor so that's cool to see and I just that's why I picked healthcare and that's also why I'm doing the music oh my god oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I just said Killing my life. This, this is it for me. If I know that I'm going to be a huge artist, I manifest that every, every day I wake up and I speak it into existence. And I know that if I don't stop, I am going to make it. It's, it's already in the books. Well, so I feel like you should get um, a video shot of me in my car, pulling over, and then just like beating the fuck out of my steering wheel and screaming and crying. That would be fire. Keep it all in your head The only place that you know Nobody ever can see Listen It's just a cycle And I know it's rough right now And I know you're lost But you will find your path Love lives, man Because, like, you only get one shot I'm fine, bro I'm fine Yeah, I'm sorry I'm fine Like, they talk to me Because they notice I'm off Get away from everything and everyone yelling. But then when I'm alone, you show that side of me. Close your eyes. Inhale through your nose. Yeah, that was a part of it. That was really That was my acting. I'm not just feeling this way for nothing, knowing that I'm not suffering for nothing, and helping people show this pain and putting it into the light and showing people how to deal with it. And I feel like that right there creates less loneliness for me, knowing that other people relate to what I've been through and then they can use it to better their life. Yeah, you've been having a good time so far? Oh yeah, this, uh, this experience has literally been, like, it's middle of the week, but it's been the best of my life. Like, this is where I feel safe, it's my therapy, like, I like to wake up and hear people making music and just get to walk into any room and, and bang out songs and work together, you know? I got this face tattoo last night. Yeah, we was chilling, just uh, making music, uh, Nick got his ink. And uh, he told me to tattoo my face, so we put out the chairs, did my face at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Honestly, my honest thought is you already have a face tat, so you really have nothing to lose. Like, you just already have a face tat, so just get another one, fuck it. But I mean, I have no face tats. I just think once you get a face tat, you're in that face tatted world. So he already has one, so if he wants to get it, cool with me. People would definitely say I'm stupid and that I just ruined my life, but... <laughs> That's not how I see it. Like, I feel like I've been through a lot of shit and just know if you feel lost, you can always find yourself again and everything can be okay. Um, there's beauty in failing. I just know that this time, there's no way. You want me to keep it really real at the end of the day? Yeah. Those kids are a lot less cringe than a lot of the motherfuckers who think they're better than those kids. Those kids are actually real as fuck. And they're realer. If somebody wants to laugh at that, maybe it's because they're insecure because they're less authentic than some of those kids. Uh, bro, this thing is not thank even you. fucking working. <laughs> but basically when I was younger, my parents used to fight really bad. And my mom got me a CD when I was younger, when I was like 10, and every night that CD would be on repeat. I'd fall asleep to it to drown out them fighting during the night. And so I kind of, that's how I fell in love with music. 
So I'd say Taylor Swift is probably one of my biggest inspirations in starting out in music. Then your conversation starts Counter all your quick remarks Like notes in secrecy It was enchanting to meet you All I can say is I was Enchanted to meet you I'm telling you, bro, she's a legend. Legend. I'm shine, baby, they'll shine. Me and you, but they can take me alive. Running off the bag, and where can I hide? All the eyes want me dead, I die. I'm dead inside. I'm dead inside. They can't take me alive Running off the bag and where can I hide?